What's up, everybody? It is the Best Spot Kits move, and yes, I played The Ascent. All right, yes. So I'm going to talk to you guys about The Ascent, and I'm going to try to talk as much as about it as I can in a matter of five minutes. Now, I would have loved to do a review, and I might still actually do a review. The problem is, the reason why this isn't a review is because I'm still playing it. Um, I played a whole ton of it. Uh, I was able to get uh, early access to it, and um, and dude, I'm, I'm happy and I'm blessed that I have. The Ascent has been one of those games that's been on my radar for upcoming games for the, the Xbox Series consoles and, you know, and, and Game Pass. This is a day one Game Pass game, and what is there not to like about it it's a freaking it's a it's a it's a shooter rpg an isometric shooter rpg made by about 11 to 12 dudes uh by curve digital neon giant they're doing a lot of this thing a lot of stuff in this game it's cyberpunk s style game uh if you want to talk about basics the story it's simple, bro. You it's, it's post a lot apocalyptic. Uh, nothing's normal. Corporations run the world. They own different corporations. Own a district. You are part of one district. Shit happens. You are you know left to fight for yourself. The only problem is you was a slave before shit hit the fan, and you're pretty much a slave with a gun after shit hits the fan, and that's pretty much it. Now as things progresses, you it's up to you to you know different uh get different jobs. Uh, from different people, allies, your bosses, uh, pairs. Uh, there's ton of side quests, ton of side missions, ton of main missions. And what that does is the more missions you do, the more unlocks you get, like different armors, different aug augmentations, different loot things to build your character up. There's also bounties that uh, are available. And these are just tougher enemies, more rare enemies that come through. You uh, take them out. Um, and you turn in that bounty into a vendor and there's a ton of vendors in this game You got a weapons vendor or armor vendor. You have an augmentation doctor that you know fix you up you No know, cyberpunk s stuff. You have obviously bars. That's what's up the um, the um, The bounties that uh, go out so a lot of things you can do you can buy things you can sell things uh, However, you want to uh, play there's a lot of things offered in this game for a game of this size It's a small team. I did not expect too much, but there's a at least uh, according to the developers, at least 10 to 15 hours of main quest line. So before you even touch the side mission, that's 15 hours you're going to be spending with this game. And I tried to tackle side missions sort of first. After you do your first two main missions, I try to open up all the side missions. And I opened up a lot of them, and that's at least another five to seven hours. So yeah, you're going to spend a lot of time with this game and the game isn't the easiest game on the block you know what i mean it, it it can be punishing it can be challenging if you do not pay attention if you do not apply your augmentations and and don't apply the right upgrades at the right places different bosses fight you different there's this game is known for its awesome cover system and awesome cover mechanics but then you're going to find yourself in boss fights that have absolutely no cover and you kind of have to use your evasion skills and so you want to want to make sure your evasion is up to par you want to make sure your armor is up to par or your fire resistance is up to par this game offers a whole lot of different things in such a small package is it, it, it's weird um because the game's in game pass but the game's also like cheap i think the game is like 20 or 30 bucks is not expensive at all and it's pretty fun now where this game does show it's pretty much limitations is in the customization now for an rpg game you want as much customization as possible but the ascent's customization is beyond basic um there's not a whole lot of options there's a chance that you're going to play with three other players in co-op mode and all of your characters are going to look alike it's very basic pick a male character or pick a female character the hairstyles are all the same uh the about four different type of faces four uh, about seven different types of hairstyles the the clothing is is, is basic i think the things that really changes or really kind of enhances your character is really the augmentations that you add and the different armors and ability and gears that you get that that's what's going to really do the changes but for the most part when you open this game you're going to find yourself very disappointed with the amount of customization because it is lacking now as far as gameplay you're going to find the gameplay very fun it's very addicting great gunplay for this type of game great cover system for this type of game you're going to find 
doing missions and the side quests available a lot of variety and side quests a lot of variety of mission did not feel like i was doing a bunch of uh uh like chase missions or a bunch of uh what's those busy it didn't feel like busy work that you would do a lot of the missions all the missions were pretty uh much uh different you had and you get different boss fights that diversify they do different things uh to change up the gameplay cutscene work is great uh, the, the the story is great. A lot of humor, a lot of um, uh, a lot of like kind of a down to earth humor in this game. Um, this, like I said, this game does at times show its budget in terms, like I said, with the customization, some visual hits there. Uh, but if you're playing on like you know in the Xbox Series, you're looking at the Series X, you're getting a 4K 60 output. On the Series S, you're getting a 1440p 60 output. Sadly, no ray tracing support for the consoles, but if you are playing on PC, you can play with ray tracing and DLS support. So shout out to the PC people. But in terms of this game overall, the package, I think players are going to find themselves having a good time. Now, during my playthrough, I have two different characters uh, in two different save files. I'm a level 18 at the time of this recording on my single playthrough with just me, no co-op players. On my co-op play, my character is a level eight. I have about maybe three hours in co-op play, starting like just starting a whole new co-op experience with uh, Attic. And then I have about maybe eight or nine hours of play in my single player experience. And that's the reason why I don't have a review because I did not al allocate my entire time with this game on one playthrough. I was trying to kill two birds. I was still to kind of give you guys a different perspective. But as far as the co-op play, at the time of my play, I did not have a day one patch. So my co-op play was kind of experienced. We kind of lost save files. We experienced, you know, crashing and uh, being stuck in the codex menu and stuff like that. Now, personally, I didn't experience those, but my co-op partner did. And so that's why our co-op play was cut short. And I figured it's probably going to be fixed in the day one patch that is there and it's going to be available on day one. And... By the time you're watching this video, that day one patch has come and gone, and you probably won't experience that. So, uh, but from the time that we did play, the co-op play was tight, fun, um, it, it worked, it felt balanced. And even for a game that looks like it should be played in co-op, playing solo, I've had a great time. It's balanced, it's, um, it didn't feel like I, it, it relied on co-op, didn't feel like I needed to be with someone, and I've been enjoying my time couple of things about this game that make this game so great is when you're all about in the world you're looting you're you know tackling different missions and stuff the the enemies the ai is per procedurally generated so nothing's the same every time you could go through one area four different times and you're gonna have a different experience every time i think this is cool i like the way that the npcs interact like a shootout can start anywhere and then everybody's scrambling i mean and then you know you'll find out you know oh there's the people i need to be going after and then not every person you come across that has a gun is meant for you to engage with they'll warn you let you know that you know don't mess with us but if you want to give them the smoke you give them the smoke and don't be surprised if you stray along too far and these guys are too high levels i think the boss i think some of the later levels in this game are you know challenging boss fights can be a challenge and i think this is where people will you know want to lean onto the co-op play uh but this game has this balance of fun uh, 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 replayability and a level of challenge and the gameplay loop in this game works it makes you want to uh, it makes you want to work it makes you want to hustle it makes you want to find things to help upgrade your character to upgrade your augmentations your armor and your health and it, 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 and there's a balance system because not every loadout that you have will work for every scenario that you end so i found myself multiple times when playing switching different things to get through different bosses and I think that's a, a, a cool challenge that this game presents. Now, if you had to ask me, do I recommend The Ascent? Of course I do. I think The Ascent is a great game. If I had to, if I was able to, to give you a, a, a score in this game, I would rank it high. But this is not a review. This is just my impressions up to this point because I did not beat the game yet. But by the time this video come out, I probably would have beaten the game. But it's on Game Pass. Download it. You will like it. If you have a friend, tell them to download it. Play it with them. You will love it. And of course, you want to play with the best bot. My gamer tag is Kid Smooth. So follow me, add me, and let's play The Ascent. But I think you guys are going to like it. I don't play these type of games, and I love it.
So if that says something, it should say enough. Xbox is the best box. I am the best spot. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in the it's it is available right now on Xbox Game Pass. Peace.